David Chiang asks, do you miss the old days? If this is a Hutch and Nanners reference, oh, then fuck no! <laughs> oh shit! Uh, you had it going for a second. Two rotations. Don't Almoron asks, which sounds like a system in fucking the Star Wars movies. When was the first time you lust your virginity? Who cares lust? about the first time you lust your virginity? <laughs> it's the second and third times that are the ones worth talking about. You idiot! Next question. <laughs> Patrick Zetterblom Blom. At a movie theater, which armrest is yours? Both! <laughs> Uh, Lee Kuang Tran Viet, which, I mean, I hear the, the sound of distant Hueys as soon as I read that. <laughs> distant Hueys? Yeah. That was like... Yeah. Do you hear the gunfire? Do you hear the... Way back in the jungle. Can't even yeah. see it. Every now and then you hear like... This is like a stray the round which is by your ear. Lee Quang Tran Viet. Screaming and burning babies. I probably class. killed your entire previous generation, except for whoever survived to squeeze you out of their vagina. I probably killed the entire one, kicked the door in on that thatch hut. <laughs> Hearing that traditional, the traditional song being sung in the distance. <laughs> Sam Quintina. What will you say to your future children, if any, when you give them the talk? In quotes. I'm just gonna show them. I mean, why, why? Probably, right? I mean, yeah. babies. That's what you're gonna do? <laughs> just fuck right in front of them. Yeah. <laughs> That's awful. Not in like a gratuitous, gross way, but in a beautiful, like, <laughs> learn. Watch and learn. And then if they describe, have questions. Describe to me your the how it's gonna go down. The beautiful way? Yeah. I'll be your son. Okay. <laughs> Dad. You'll be my son. All right. Where did I come from, Dad? Well, son, <laughs> you see this dick? Yeah. Well, I have one too, and it's tiny, like a finger. Well, one day that'll get bigger, and it'll get hard <laughs> at times. And when you love someone, sometimes that hard finger, which is bigger, <laughs> goes where? <laughs> see what your mother has there? Yeah. <laughs> Looks what? like a sideways mouth. You'll take that hard finger we talked about, and it goes inside of there. And when the ew. finger, well, when you get older, it won't be ooh anymore. It'll be yeah. And <laughs> you'll and you you'll move. I mean, ideally, you'll move in and out. Well, you kind of can be in the whole time. Wee! <laughs> that was a good job. I don't know. That was, I feel like good. I learned something. <laughs> Did you? Um. Yeah, I'm gonna put my hard finger, my hard crotch <laughs> finger into my mom, is what I learned from that. <laughs> Someday when I love someone, I'm gonna put my hard dick finger into my mom. Blaze Ireton Underwood, who wins in a game of penis, take consecutive turns saying the word penis, getting louder and louder in the office? Uh... <laughs> Next question, I win. Cody James Hamer, Sark, what's your take on this so-called zombie apocalypse? The key to surviving the zombie apocalypse is going straight to the end of the evolution of survival, right? It starts off, things are shitty, oh no, we're eating less and we're rationing food and oh my god, now we're being careful of other survivors and oh, we had to eat the fucking cat, oh man, man. pretty soon you're at the end, right? I snap right to the fucking end. The second we even have a brownout, if a circuit breaker trips in my apartment, cannibalism. You just <laughs> cut to the fucking end. That's how you survive. The as soon eater. as I heard about the first bath salt incident, yeah. I ate my neighbor. <laughs> and she was disgusting, too. Did not take care of her body. It was mostly folded, folded, spotted skin. But that's how you survive. Pro tip. Go fuck yourself. We need somebody else to prank. All right, let's try Lester then. Yes. Well, let's Lester, do Lester, I don't think Lester has my phone number, so I don't think I so. I hope not. 
He Unless may, he went, uh, well, right, here we go. We'll, we'll see what happens. Right now. Your name, number, and message. We'll get back to you again. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> We need somebody else to pray. <laughs> All right, third time's a charm. Third time. Let's we try got this. Anthony, aka Shore Wars. All gotcha. right, we're calling his work desks. That way he won't get caller ID on us. So. Cool. <clears throat> Hello, this is Anthony. Hi, this is this Anthony Rogers of Machinima.com? That's correct. How can I help you? This is Nancy from Credit Services Protection. I was just calling. We have a couple unusual charges on your primary credit card. Wanted to run it by you. Did you recently rent one gallon jugs? Seems to be an adult entertainment VHS tape. Uh, that does not sound right. No, I, don't, I did not buy that. All right, so that's $149 that we can check off our list. <laughs> okay, what else you got on the list? I'm getting a little worried here. Have you ever purchased a dildo <laughs> for your asshole? No, no, I haven't. I think you, uh, actually, you don't have another Anthony Rogers. Like, did you get the wrong Anthony Rogers? No, no, it's definitely you. <laughs> <laughs> this has you written all over it. <laughs> So dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Heath Quinzer asks, do you like candy corn? If you do, I'll send you some fucking candy corn. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Uh, yes, Heath, we do. I, you have beautiful eyes. You fucking suck. I miss Hutch. <laughs> yeah! Come on! Oh my god! Where would you like it? In my ass. I knew it! I knew it! All right, hold on, hold on. Nanners, same treatment. Yeah. I already thought of it. Can I tell you what I yep, thought of? Yeah, go for it. I thought of Camaro, but I don't even have any like it in the Camaro. I don't, okay. I don't know. I just thought Camaro. That yeah. didn't make any sense. I didn't think it could get any gayer than in the ass, but you, <laughs> you made it. You made There's it. nothing gay about just getting it in the ass, but when you put it, a Camaro in it, yeah. that's yeah. a little weird. No, I don't know. It's got like stripes and a stuff. That Camaro. means Burt Reynolds is raping you. <laughs> Mustache? <laughs> <laughs> Burt Reynolds' mustache all up in that. God, <sighs> tickly. And what the fuck is happening? Like a Brillo pad on your balls. <laughs> Ow! Why don't you suck a dick? Why don't you suck a dick with your butthole, Jim? Maybe look. Try that. <laughs> Maybe try that. And here's how you do that. In case you're wondering, you get a. Uh, you, you get, get a frosty from Wendy's, <laughs> and you have somebody put their dick in your butthole, and then you take a big, hard suck on the frosty, and it creates suction out of your butt. All right? And then you can milk that dick with your anus. <laughs> Next question. <laughs> Logan Hassung wants to know front door or back door? Back door. Front door. Chimney! You ever had your shit pushed in? I have. Right? Training day, man. Yeah. Movie. Nana Denzel and Oscar. Oh fuck! Oh fuck! Oh no! Uh, what did he? <laughs> I don't, I oh my god! Are at you at serious? It. I don't even want to look at it. Sark. I can get it away. Sark. APL. Sark. Oh my god! I don't want to. I don't even want to... Are you kidding me? Want... Oh my god! I don't want to touch it. Oh. <laughs> Fucking shit! <laughs> Dude, I'm sorry. I'm the, just as terrible. Uh, I feel like it's gonna move. Oh my god. <laughs> <coughs> 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 
God damn it. Holy shit. Oh. Can you guys see this? Oh, fuck. Fuck. Dude. He challenged you. So this let is what he was let me, I got to touch it. Dude, I got to touch it. The only way to. <laughs> got it. He literally creeps me out to touch it. Oh, I nearly threw up. I know. I'm not kidding. I nearly just threw up. No, I can tell, dude. Oh, what the fuck is that? That looks like, I don't know if that's a tarant. You're doing, be, you're beating your be fear, strong. dude. This is like, this is getting over your arachnophobia a little bit. This is impressive. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, the underside. It's terrifying. I mean, oh, if there's any I'm gonna reason. I'm going to throw up. I'm okay, not, all right, all right. right. Don't, don't throw up. Don't throw up. Don't throw up. <laughs> Please. All right, I'm going to put this over here. Adrian J. Baxter says, can APL hold the letter opener in his beard? <laughs> this, this I've never seen. Oh man, it's it's gonna be. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> oh. Twist. Yeah, and then twist, twist from shit. there. Yep. Twist it like it's a fucking medieval torture device. There you go. Oh, God. There you go. Twist it up. Ow. Twist it. <laughs> twist it. Hold on. Stop saying twist it. Twist it. <laughs> twist it harder and faster. What are you kidding? Oh, oh that's oh. gross. Oh, it's like God. a thick, <laughs> thick braid of. Auburn beard hair. I guess uh, the answer is no. I failed, I failed you. I'm sorry. Not yet. We'll keep growing it out. Good question, though, Adrian. I had never <laughs> ever thought of that before. <laughs> we are just truly puppets what the for fuck the is masses. Happening on these questions, oh, no. by the way. Ow. Franz Urban, our uh. third question. Sucky, sucky, five dollar. He says. <laughs> Now it's the part of the show where we answer your questions in fast fucking rapid fire fuck succession, 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 succession. Zachary Ron wants no taco pizza, biatch. Pizza, biatch. Owen Augustine wants to know Kit Kat or dick. Kit Kat. Dick. Cause the Kit Kat's not gonna jizz in your mouth. <laughs> oh, let's do another one. Okay. Let's do another one. All right, all right. ready? Yep. Kit Kat. Dick. Cause at least you. <laughs> Cause at least there's a chance you won't get AIDS from a dick. Kit dick, Kat. cause Kit Kat doesn't know what men like. What a man wants. I'll go one more time. Kit dick, Kat. cause Kit Kats aren't chewy. <laughs> Kit Kat. Dick, cause it reminds me of my dad. <laughs> Manny well, want to know if we want unlimited bacon and no video games or unlimited video games and no video games. I don't understand what this question does it at even all. Mean if it's bacon no bacon, bacon games, there's bacon it's and, games and no, no bacon. Yeah. Did you mean games <sighs> and no bacon? Are we willing to sack oh. bacon for our video games? Is right. that what you mean? Yeah, what was this guy's name? name? Right. What's Matt, who is well, Matt? Matt? Come on, Matt. Yeah. Oh, proofread this shit. Uh, so. I'm gonna go with bacon and no video games, because at least at the end of that scenario, I've got fucking bacon. Yeah. I've got something. If I go with video games and no video games, then I just gave up everything I earned by answering your weird, what kind of retarded genie would have come out of this lamp? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking, it's an amorphous blob. You've waken, you have wakened me from an endless slumber. I grant you one wish. Would you like endless bacon, but no more games? Or would you like games, unlimited games, and no games? Which would you want? You fucking idiot, take the bacon. At least <laughs> tell me you the answer. Just take idiot. the bacon. <laughs> I failed genie school. All right, hold on, so maybe, maybe he means, what would you rather have, bacon? Louis Deacon asked the deep probing question, would I rather give a blowjob to a hobo for one minute or lick APL's beard for 10 minutes? I have to pick one or APL gets to slap me. Thanks, Louis, for the real shitty question. I better pick one or I'm gonna get slapped. Blow a hobo or lick APL's beard. You know what, I'm gonna turn this on its head. Louis, okay, if I lick APL's beard, you know what APL's gonna be? He's gonna be bummed out because my spit's getting all up on his business and near his face and I've got his hair in my teeth. So you know what, I'm gonna blow the hobo because at least then somebody's happy. Me! <laughs> this was Inbox! Fuck off!